Hi guys, uh, welcome to my next first play of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, so, I haven't played this game for a good long while and it's been sitting in my Steam library since like 2010 I think, so it has been a very long time. Before I might as well start playing it now since a friend got me uh, Valkyria Chronicles recently. Uh, sorry, Valkyria Chronicles 4 even. Uh, so, for a very brief rundown of uh, this game, the setting, basically it's a kind of an alternate universe that's similar to ours. There's still a sort of Europe, uh, it's called Europa, with kind of countries analogous to what we've got in reality. It's set during this world's version of World War II. Expect lots of kind of like similar technology. It's going to be mostly similar technology to what we have in World War II. Um, and it's going to be kind of fun. We're playing this little nation called Gallia. Well, people from a little nation called uh, Gallia who are officially independent in the war. We'll see how that comes together though in just a couple of moments. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue, Gallia to Arms. So we're going to be doing a lot of this episode by episode. There are... There was a brief freeze. I'm not sure what that was about. There are quite a few uh, different, uh, quite a different ch few different chapters here. But we're going to start off with uh, Gallia to Arms. Get the first mission out of the way. Let's go. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. See the fuel source on the top of the truck there. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Freeze! 
Put your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. <laughs> Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish, and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right, then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. <laughs> Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> this is like an important thing you should have led with Welkin. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. And now we start to get into the meat of the game. Yep, I can select save. So I'll save. There we go. <laughs> You can see I've been playing the game already. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brawl. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time and nice and easy. Or right, victory if all enemies are defeated, failure if Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. CP points, command points. When the combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. 
Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on the position respected to the enemy, and then press A. Doing so uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander. And they also represent the number of times you can give instructions to control your units per each player phase. In this battle, you have free CP to so condition instructions to units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Here we go. Let's go for welcome first. I get action points. This is basically how much I can do when I'm controlling him. You see, if you select a unit in command mode, you'll be plunged into attack mode. Here, you can freely move the unit around until you select. Let me start again. Here, you can freely move the units you selected around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. Keeping an eye on the units remaining AP while they're in motion is critical to keeping them safe. For now, you use the sticks to move the unit near the sandbags. I mean, it's all like third person shooter here. About attacking, press RB to enter target mode. They're the unit prepared to attack with their currently selected weapon. Using the left stick to aim, uh, I can use uh, the LB or RB buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well. Basically, as a third person shooter, but as soon as I go into target mode, nothing happens. I have time to aim. Is that that? You're sure to land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshair, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots to either the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so you choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, then you may launch a counterattack. Damage unit may not have the HP to survive the enemy's counterattack, so yep, that's fine. So I want to hit this button. So it's going to take seven shots to kill. This I don't think the tutorial explains this, but you can see on the top there, I have basically the number of shots I'll be shooting. Uh, what my gun is useful against. So circle means it's, circle means it's good. Across means it's bad. Next to the number of shots, there, the uh, number five, there's a number of shots to kill. That's showing as either a seven or a two. It's a seven for body shots and a two for headshots. Probably not going to be able to pull off another head enough headshots, we're going to try anyway. So, time to fire. Take this. Yes! <laughs> Even though there's a remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode, is unable to attack further. Press B to end the current turn. To return you to command mode, will you be able to... Okay. So as soon as I attack... I can't do anything else with the character. Yes. Oh, sorry, no, I can still move, but I can't attack. Alright, so I can move Welkin up to... Here, but it's going to teach me about cover. This guy is aiming at me. So when standing the sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Basically, I can take cover between, behind things like sandbags. I'm immune to headshots and I take less damage and critical damage. I'm caught in the open. I will take more damage. That makes sense. Advance carefully. Move from cover to cover. And always try to run my actions while hidden. Doing so should keep my troops alive. There we go. So I know he's over there. But I'm going to do this. There we go. So I could jump over and control uh, Alicia, or that guy. I want to go back and control Welkin. Here we go. So I can move him here. There we go. We are quite close. We are aiming. I'm going to fire. <laughs> Two headshots. Yes. And I'm going to keep him here while I switch to... Dragging Alicia along. My turn, okay? There we go. I can't target him from here. He's too far away. I'm not going to hit any shots. You do get snipers later on, though. A croucher here. There we go. Abandoning the phase, when your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. 
one player slash enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn, so yep. More cash on experience received at the end if I'm fast. The key is to find a challenging bounce. So as you can see, I don't have any more abilities, so I have to end my end my phase. <laughs> Apparently I was going to counter-attack him, but he decided not to uh, attack me. Yep, CP can be used multiple times the same unit, which I've already demonstrated. That said, people get tired. Basically, I have less AP each time I control them in the same turn. So, how the welcome should be you all refreshed here. Let's stand up, get closer. Okay, shooting at me and scoring a couple of hits. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. He's already been hit once in that counter attack, so. There we go, he's dead. I don't see any more of them. You also get ranked on the missions as well. I think I could have gotten an A rank on there easily. Yeah, whatever. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. The music is very, very good and very, very powerful.
Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing coming along, Ys? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? <laughs> I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Ah, uh, there's a lot of these. It was a cute story. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while.
Just about everyone is evacuated by now. I can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. So it's supposed to be a teacher, but he immediately throws himself into a fight. I'll explain the mission. The enemy's invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance towards the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be here in the plaza area. Be careful, there may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command view mode, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay? Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. A certain amount of damage a unit has sustained is healed each turn. If you're say you can heavy damage, don't. Push them, stay back, and heal up. Should enemy attacks reduce a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. I don't have that many units. I have Welkin, I have uh, Alicia, and I have the Town Watchman. The uh, Welkin has the most health, so we'll push him up first. Out sight lines. Sight line pair over their heads. That line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning the line points. Yep, it tells me where they are. This is when they're attacking. Yep. The crouch, target. Yep, and it'll toggle between them. Oh, that tells me about the uh, two kill amount. Yay!
Okay. Missile hits of it is the target, not taken into account in this number. Yep, 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 yep. So, consider between those two. He's far away. I'm not probably not going to hit him. I might be able to hit you, though. Oh, it's so difficult to fucking aim on controller like this. There we go. There we go. He's dead. Yes. Jogging, 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 jogging. Jogging, 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 Hostile jogging. <laughs> and yeah, we'll end it there. Ready we'll take go. control of Welkin again. There we go. Hi there. Now. <laughs> yes. And he lays back down. And we'll end the action there. Ready to go. And we'll control the look one more time. So I can just do this super close up shot. Oh, I apparently didn't do enough. Oh, hello. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this is going to go slightly wrong. He's just generally tougher. Okay. I am going to pull Alicia up My now. Turn, okay. Mm. Why he took her here? There we go. <laughs> okay, he's crouched. I forgot. I forgot that immediately. He's crouched. Therefore, he's immune to headshots. Okay, we might as well move the town watchman up as well. There we go, he's dead now. There we go, we'll end that turn. And who has the most health right now? It's still Welkin. Hostile sighted. Nope, 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 no shooting. Bad yes. evil. Aha! Yes! yes. And we'll end there. Hmm. Ready to go. Let's push Balkan up to the uh, next sandbags. Enemy sighted. And I might as well shoot. Now. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we'll grab Alicia next. And we'll okay. move her up. Get wrecked! Oh, that was the leader! What's that? Sounds like a tank.
<laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the tank's kind of spooking me. Tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. No, nope, we need a shock trooper for that. I hate to say it, but we should probably Where's pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Yep, this is going to be tricky. I only need to get Welkin there, though. Ready to go. I could probably actually do that this turn. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Whoa, okay. Ready I can get go. him I can get him here though. Yeah. Woo! Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Hey, oh, there's a C rank. <laughs> Wasn't great, whatever.